Sports. It could have been billed as the Rocky of movie premieres, and Cincinnati, not Sunset Boulevard, was the scene. Chattanooga Choo Choo, a low-budget, low-profile new release, tackled the return of Indiana Jones on its own turf. The razzle-dazzle was straight from the heartland, complete with an all-American parade, marching band, and balloons. been a deliberate Hollywood spoof, but it was also a statement from an independent producer bent on bucking the system. It's more gratifying to buck the system and accomplish something than just be part of it, especially a system you don't like. Phil Borak did something that everyone else would have said couldn't be done, but he didn't know that, you see. He didn't know it couldn't be done, so he went ahead and did it. If more people did that, I think we'd have more family pictures. You can draw people into the theaters with something besides uh, ghost stories and uh, Friday the 13th and boys peeking into the girl dorms movie, which is what Choo Choo is. It's a family entertainment fun movie. And the against all odds hope is that Chattanooga Choo Choo will give those other summer movie blockbusters a run at the box office. Jane Whitney, Cincinnati, Entertainment Tonight.